Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. A California man has died in what is believed to be the seventh vaping-related illness. Joining us right now to talk about the crackdown on vaping and his new projects, former Canopy Growth co-CEO Bruce Lipton, uh, who is here also announcing a new venture. Before we even just get to that, because that news about that death and, and vaping, I think, is yeah. what I want to actually start a conversation with, though. <laughs> I want to talk about what's on your shirt. Well, because so. Because most people come in here in a suit and tie. Yeah. They were, they were yeah. respectful. Yeah, yeah, no, but I'm. This is a whole other situation. This is a, listen, I'm, I'm probably never getting invited back. You know, I'm boring and I dress poorly. What the heck are you guys having me here for? Right. What are you doing? Um, so I, I spent the summer, as I told you last summer, I went around and found a bunch. Yeah. that I want to be involved in. So these are the companies I either invested in or I'm advising. And the one with the, the, the arts and crafts show that I did this morning it was, the was um, I wish to be involved with one multi-state operator. They're called an MSO. Yeah. And for a bunch of reasons, the regulations, et cetera, didn't conclude the one that's under here. And so that leaves the door open because now I'm trying to figure out which one will I be involved with. So that's why I had to cover the name, but I thought, why not actually turn it into a billboard? I'm in New York. So you are a billboard. You're, I am. I'm in Times Square. And, and listen, Physical it's working. Billboard. Yes, it's working. So it's working. Uh, um, we'll, we'll try, I, what's our rate for billboards? It's probably and high. We'll yeah. talk about it. Yeah. Um, let's talk about vaping, though, because we are seeing these yeah. deaths. What is really happening here? Well, so I, I think there's two or three things happening on top of each other, right? You're starting to see the products that people are vaping maybe not being what they thought they were. So right. where do they come from? And so my worry is when regulators say we're going to try and stop vaping, what really is going to happen is more of those products that don't come from a regulated source will get in the market. And they'll have vitamin E in and a number of these things, which when heated to a level, I think is where the, the science is saying the problem's coming from. So I would say cracking down is probably the wrong word. Educating, like inhaling stuff into your lungs overall isn't the smartest idea. To begin it, with. Right. And but that's so, the business you're in. Well, no. So the, where I put my biggest bets was beverages. Okay. Because my view was that it's socially normal. The track that it takes is a much less easily damaged right. track, right? You can probably eat things that are pretty off uh, the, the so rails. So can you get on our bandwagon? I'm not sure any of us actually think that vaping is such a great idea well, at all. I, I think that vaping could be for medical patients. So if you really said, where is the right place to do it? The reason people inhale it and through vape is it has instant onset. Suppose you're somebody that has Parkinson's. You wake up in the morning, you've been rigid all night, and it's really hard to get moving. That sure. person should have a medical device. A, me should be. a medical device right. you get as a that's prescription. That's heavily regulated. Right, that's, that's heavily regulated. Same, the but answer the same thing with, uh, with vaping and with any yeah. of these, in ingesting it through beverages or anything else, all of it needs to be regulated the, because when you have people who are trying to correct. make $4,000 worth of pot get spread so they have a bigger profit, right. they cut it with bad stuff. The more you regulate this area and the less you ignore it, Bad for criminals, better for public safety. Oh, I don't and, understand. Are you saying it needs to be regulated or are you uh, saying it needs, needs less to, regulation? It needs more, more, more regulation. More regulation. Right. What you want to have is, for example, what temperature does the problem begin at? So what if you have a vape device that actually heats these things up to but a level you're not going to get that unless you have federal Correct. regulation. Correct. And, and you might start where the FDA starts to look at, and I'm sure they have been, they left the barn door open on what can these nicotine vapes do and right. non-nicotine. But can I ask you a question? I imagine that your industry has been the one lobbying for the opposite to take place, well, no? I, I sure haven't. I, I, I've been a fan of, I in fact think that good companies prefer more rules. Yeah. And the reason is that if they're competent and the rules get built higher, right. the, the less capable fall further back. What the FDA has done is left the door open, but they've also said the onus is on you as the industry to come up with these right. studies and bring wow. them back to us because we're going to assume it's not safe unless you can prove that it is. And I, I don't think they're going to rush to get back because what if your evidence doesn't support your business? <laughs> right. And so I think that where they're probably going to look at, and I know that, um, for example, when you think about are any of these companies running a health trial? Meaning, have you sold vape products? Yes. Do you have a registry for adverse effects? Most don't. If you did have a registry, how frequently was it registered and what was the source of the problem? Because it could be anything from a person inhaling and having a cough to an adverse reaction where they have an allergic thing. So um, what I've been looking for in the companies I get involved with is that they're science-driven, regulation strong, and capital markets like that. Bruce, thank you for coming in this morning. Appreciate it. We'll send you the bill. For the, for the, for the, for the billboard. <laughs> Always good you, to talk to him, you right? You can come back, just come, come back. bearing gifts, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, There's listen. Somebody. You guys, just, uh, you guys, and it won't be vaping. No, kidding. It won't no, be no I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Morning show I'm not, hard. I'm not so sure about this, the whole thing. What about uh, CBD gummies to go to sleep? <laughs> well, but, but what you really want is you want an outcome. You, you don't want a gummy. You want an outcome. That's what we, the science has to deliver.